back to my channel and I know I sound horrible it's because I'm getting over a cough so just bear with me ignore the weirdness going on right here and let's jump straight into our video so I've been waiting a really really long time to this video but of course I have to get a pet first right and I finally have him and he is perfect and everything I ever wanted literally and I'll tell you a little story behind that why I say that and let's just jump straight into it so my pet today is going to be a dog by the name of Egypt and the first challenge is to find him <laughs> Hello. messing up my hair and everything <laughs> Here is my boo. This is Egypt. And I think we'll just jump right into the tag and like get straight into all the questions because he's antsy right now and he's not feeling it. And <clears throat> so I'm gonna see you guys. Hey, say hi. You're like, what are you doing, you crazy person? He's all black. Don't you love that? Well, not all black. He has like some brown and okay i'm cheating because i'm telling you guys the answers before you even asking the question all right so the first question is what is the name of your pet and what is it so of course it's a dog <laughs> and his name is egypt and how old is your pet he is officially two months and five days he was born january 24th six days before my birthday and um, oh, he's chilling right now. He's good. He's a good boy. And um, I've only had him for literally three weeks. This coming Saturday. It's Tuesday now. So this Saturday will be three weeks that I've had him. I really haven't had him for a long time. But isn't he so cute? But I'm going to let him go because he, he looks annoyed. <laughs> so what kind of breed is he? He is a cockapoo. And that is a mix between a poodle and a cocker spaniel, and I've I've never known of this breed until I came to the states. And let me tell you the funny story now. Um, fast forward after a relationship, we had a cockapoodle, cockapoo, see, <laughs> a cockapoo, and I was just so obsessed with this dog. Mind you, this dog was a little bit bigger than my puppy. But he was so gorgeous. He was all black. Like, he had no spots like my puppy does. But he was all black. And he had the gorgeous, the most gorgeous eyes ever. And I just fell in love with his dog. I was like, what kind of dog is this? Because back home, I have a, a, a Shih Tzu. And I thought it was the most beautiful dog ever. Until <laughs> I found this, this cockapoo. But, you know, it's, he was just, the, the guy was so just not for me and I decided to just stop talking to him but I would always like ask him like on the low for like pictures of the dog and I was just like he was like wait so you don't want to talk to me but you want to see the dog I was like yeah good point so <laughs> after that like I was just like I already had a shih tzu I wanted to see what a cockapoo was about so I was just on this mission and I, I forgot about it because you know I had to move and a whole bunch of different stuff and it so happened that the other guy that I started to date, it was actually really like, this was my boyfriend, his sister bred cockapoos. I was like, you've got to be kidding me right now. Like, what? This is destiny. This is fate. But, <laughs> like, I just sat, I was there when the, the, the mom was pregnant. And I was just like, you would think this is a human being. Like, I was there, like, rubbing her down. Like, are you okay? Like, what do you want? I was bribing before she got pregnant, I was bribing the male dog with bacon. I was just like, would you hurry up? Like, I need a puppy right now. Like, let's, let's go. Let's get to this. <laughs> and when I finally found out she was pregnant, it was just, like, amazing. Like, I was, I was, I was literally about to give birth, and I wasn't even pregnant. But it was me. Like, I felt it. I was, I was going to give birth to this damn puppy that I wanted. <laughs> and I was ready. Like, I wasn't there when she gave birth, but I was there. I was sitting, I was asking for pictures and videos. I was crying. You would think that this is, like, a literal human being, but no, it's not. But anyways, fast forward. Uh, I was, like, so determined to get an all-black dog because back home in Jamaica, I have a, a mixed dog, which is mostly white. And I'm just like, oh, I think that black, I think black is so pretty. Like, the coat is different. It's just so shiny. And so I was just like, I wanted to have a black dog. So said, so done. 
I got a black cockapoo. And the funny thing is, like, there were two that came from the litter. There was a full black one with little white paws, and I thought it was so, his, so, he was so gorgeous. But he was feisty. And I would literally, I was on a mission to find a dog that was, like, super chill and not doing too much. Like, that's the dog I want. I don't want him to be, like, all over the place, which is, I, like, some people like that. I don't. Like, I want you to chill out and just, like, chill. And the, the I had my my eyes on the the full black one with the white paws, but he was just way too he was he was just a tyrant. He was bullying the other puppies, and I was just like, I'm not, I can't work with that. And then there was this one, my Egypt. He was just always like in the corner. He socialized with them, but he was always chill, just sleeping and pooping. That was it. That was his life. And I was like, yeah, that's him. That's him right there. That's, that sounds like me. Sounds sounds about right. I want that one. And I brought him home like two two weeks after you know they could get released, and two weeks after I broke up with the guy. <laughs> Actually, no, I broke up with him before I even got the puppy. So, I mean, if that ain't fate, I don't know what what is. Like, I got out of a situation that apparently was just wasn't going to work, but I got a puppy out of it, like my lifelong dream. <laughs> since I've been here in the States. So I feel like I kinda it kinda worked out for me a little bit. <clears throat> but anyways, that was my little story of how I came very long and far, you know, to long and far is that a word. But anyways, I came a very long way to finding the right puppy for me and I had to go through some BS situations just to get my puppy, which makes him even more valuable to me. And I'm just, he's just like very sentimental. And that, this is my baby right now. And, you know, I'm just happy to have him. You know, I had to go through a lot to get him. But he's here now and I'm happy and it was all worth it. So that's my little story of how, you know, it, everything just kind of worked out the way I wanted it to. So the next question is, uh, how did I get him? I kind of already explained the dramatic story of how I got him, the type of food that he likes. Now, because he is still so young, he can't eat anything but the food that was, you know, prescribed to him by his breeder, and that's poppy chow, and I have to wet and moisture, like, give it a lot of moisture before he eats it, even though he's a greedy one. Like, let me just say, he is greedy, okay? Like his owner. But... <laughs> He, he will like, I'll, tr I'll put the food up and like have it like voice the way he's supposed to eat it. And like I was rushing to work one day and I put it down just after I put the water in it. And he dived right in like forget the, forget it being soft. Like he tore that thing up. And I was like, so why am I wasting my time making it wet when you can eat it? Because the whole purpose of me, me making it soft was because he couldn't eat it. But apparently he can. And when he's hungry... He does it very quickly, <laughs> so I do still wet it, but when he's like, he's just <laughs> craving, cra very craving, so he eats anything, but right now he's strictly on um, puppy chow, and if I feel like treating him, when I wake up in the morning and I make bacon, I'll like give him a little soft parts of the bacon, eat it, and he loved that, oh my god. Dogs really do like bacon. So next thing is quirky things that he does. If if you guys uh, follow me on Snapchat, you would see some of the quirky things that he already is doing. He likes to wake me up at 2 a.m. consecutively. Consecutively, he likes to wake me up at 2 a.m. every single morning to play. Now, if you guys know, I'm a bartender, and I would normally be at work at 2 a.m. But when I am not and I'm in bed, he makes it his mission to wake me up at 2 a.m. to play. And how I know that he wants to play is that he'll pull my sheet and then I get up. And when I get up, I'm like, what? <laughs> He's like, he'll start running the circle, running the circle. And then he'll go for his little um, Wario. Is that what's it called? The Mario, the bad version of. Anyways, I have a little toy, a little stuffed toy of the Mario, the bad Mario. And he would just throw it and take the throw it at me like at my, at my feet, and then that's how I know he wants to play. I was like, you can't pick no like 2 p.m. don't work for you. Like I'm, we can work in 2 p.m. No, he picks 2 a.m. consecutively every single morning, 
and I'm trying to break him out of it so I'll feed him like a treat at 2 a.m. and then he'll go like sit in the cage and eat it and I can go back to sleep I don't know if that's right or nothing but it works <laughs> so the next thing is my relationship with him as you guys should already be able to tell like I'm very attached to him <clears throat> My Snapchat doesn't even see me as often as they see him. And I kind of feel like it's a bit obsessive, I know. But you guys have to understand, I have been waiting for a dog. I've been in the States for two years now. And that's like the first thing I wanted since I got here. Like, I, I just, I really wanted a dog, like, so badly. And I couldn't get him because I was moving around and I didn't, I was trying to find, like, a really good place for me to stay at, you know, where I wanted to be. I was working different jobs, so... It just really wasn't convenient, and now like I do have a puppy, and it, and I'm by myself now. It's just it's just perfect, and I can check that dream off my list a little bit. And you know, the thing with my dogs, the one back home, her name is Persia, and his name is Egypt. And as you can tell, like their names of different parts of the world, different parts of the world that I actually want to go to. So I kind of feel like it's it's like a constant having my dogs be named those places is like a constant reminder that I have to go to that place one day, and hopefully I can bring them with me. I doubt it strongly, but it's it's like I just love I just want I love traveling. I want to go everywhere one day soon. So like I feel like it's almost fitting to name my puppies after places I want to be at. I don't know if this is a weird thing. He means a lot to me and he, he's already, he's been here for three weeks and we're already inseparable. Like he follows me everywhere. If you're a pet lover, you will know, you'll understand this, this, you'll understand why I am like, I love animals. I love dogs particularly because they're literally your best friend. The unconditional love, like you can shout at them and like stop doing that. But they'll come back and lick your face in like two minutes. Like, who does that? I can't do that with humans. Why can't humans do that? <laughs> Alright, so his fa my favorite pastimes with him would have to be trying to train him. He's very intelligent. And <clears throat> it's not really, it's very, it's really not hard to train him. And I've been doing like, you know, paw. And he had me his little paw. And um, I'm trying to teach him to sit, but he's very not into that right now. But we'll get there, and um, I think I spoil him a bit because he's on my bed now. So when I'm on here editing videos or watching something, he wants to like come up on the bed, and I always let him do it. And my mom hates it, <laughs> but like you know, like that's my teddy bear that moves, like you know, whatever. So my favorite pastime is to watch a movie with him, curl curl up beside me, and you know when I'm just doing anything, like he keeps me company and i love it you know and i think that, that's kind of it it's not it wasn't a long video i hope hope it's not a long video but i mean i just wanted to introduce you guys formally to my puppy who is literally snapchat famous right now all my friends that come over like he makes a debut on their snapchat okay we have a little youtube prince right here <laughs> we're gonna work on it right no you don't care? Okay, that's fine. He has, like, the most unique coat, I think. Because his paws are brown, but his beard is white. Look at that. Isn't that so cute? You don't care. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so now. I don't know why you haven't. But press the subscribe button, like this video, share this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.